Hello, I'm Rico and this is 123Tube. So today I'm a little bit tired, a little bit under the weather. The weather itself is pretty poor, to be honest. It is the UK, it is winter, so no surprise there. And I'm sat here trying to think, what video should I make today? So I've come up with an idea. I have been asked many, many times recently about, well, I say many times, probably about three or four times, about 120 millimeter AIOs. So when I'm asked about those, I always give a generic reply, which is basically, yeah, if you've got a small system and you're not pushing it too hard, they're absolutely perfect. So today I thought to myself, well, I actually have a kind of um, ITX mini PC that I use for editing. It's got a 120 millimeter AIO from Corsair. It's the H60, I believe. And that's coupled to a Ryzen 5 3600 overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz. And I thought, well, why don't I just find out how good they actually are? Because I've never really tested it. So I'm just going to stress test the entire PC. So I've basically got the Ryzen 5 in there, as I've just said, 4.2 gigahertz. I've got a GTX 1650 Super. And I've basically got all the fans set up perfectly. So the the AIO at the front, the radiator is at the front of the PC and air is being pushed from outside the PC. So nice cool air going through the radiator into the actual case itself. Below that, we've got a 140 millimeter uh, fan that's pushing cool air from outside into the case, which is cool in the graphics uh, card area. And as all that air passes through the case, it cools, uh, cools the VRMs and then it gets pumped out or drawn out of the case from the rear of the case and at the top of the case. So for me, that is the ideal situation because a lot of people put the uh, 120 millimeter AIOs uh, at the back, so they push air out of the case, but all you're really doing is pushing warm air, that's the, the case's kind of um, gathered inside from the VRMs, the graphics card, and pushing it through the radio radiator. So it's not quite as efficient. So with all that said, I'm going to run CPU-Z or CPU-Z if you're American. I'm going to stress test the CPU and at the same time, I'm going to run a benchmark super position. So that's mostly GPU uh, related, that benchmark, but it does need a little bit of CPU. So overall, the system will be running pretty much at full pelt. I'm going to leave that for an hour and then we're going to see what the results are. Okay, so CPU-Z is running. As you can see, we are at 100% load, 4.2 gigahertz. And now it's time to run the benchmark. And we're off. So we'll just leave that running for a while. It's on a loop, so we'll come back to it in about an hour. Okay, we're back with the shaky cam. So we're gonna stop the benchmark. And as you can see, hopefully down there, we've been running for oh, just short of an hour. So I'm gonna stop the CPU Z benchmark, get rid of that, and we'll have a look at the results. So 4.2 gigahertz, as you can see, we've been running, and the temperature maxed out on the CPU at 61.6 degrees Celsius. So that is pretty darn good. And let's have a look at the system itself. So CPU 61.9, VRM, so every, around 50 degrees. So all running really nice and cool. Obviously the fans were going quite fast to keep it all cool, but not at top speed. And where's the GPU? Let's scroll down. 59, wow, I was expecting more than that, 59 degrees. So there you have it. The results are actually better than I expected. So we ran that test for an hour, and it just goes to prove if you get everything right, 120 mil AIO is actually really good for the job. So the room temperature here is around 20 degrees. So let's start off with that. The case, well, that's probably one of the most important factors. You need a case that allows air to, to be drawn into the case and then pushed out without any difficulties. On top of that, having the AIO orientation at the front with cold air being pushed through the radiator is very important as well. 
having air being pushed over the GPU keeps the GPU nice and cool as well. And then all that warm air exhausted out, um, that makes for a great cool system. So yes, 120 mil AIO is more than up to the job if everything else allows it to work efficiently. So that's really the, the kind of end story. It's basically the whole package uh, which is important. But long story short, yes, 120 mil AIO can do a fantastic job if allowed to do its job properly. There we go. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and all that. And uh, I'll see you again in the next video.